The other news that came out of New Orleans this weekend is that Derek Carr is going to veto any trade that uh, would happen between now and Wednesday when the Raiders have to cut him lest they take a $40 million uh, salary cap hit. So apparently what happened in all of the negotiations was that Carr did not get the deal that he wanted. If he had gotten the deal that he wanted, then the Saints had lined up some kind of compensation to go to the Raiders. It was always a long shot that that was going to happen because why would Carr, unless he got everything that he wanted, not give himself an opportunity to explore free agency and just see what else was out there? So now the Saints have gone from bidding against nobody to bidding against everybody. And I know that there were multiple outlets last week that said, hey, um, Derek Carr, the, the, the Saints are the, the favorites to get him. That takes, a, that, that takes a big hit here because if the Saints can't work out a contract with him when they're bidding against nobody, how are they going to work out a contract with him when they're bidding against everybody? Maybe the market will be lukewarm for him. I don't know. There's certainly enough teams out there looking for quarterbacks that – uh, you figure he's going to get uh, an opportunity somewhere. I think the the reaction of Derek Carr in New Orleans was always kind of, okay, you know, it was uh, somewhat lukewarm, better than what you have now, but not, you know, what you really wanted, uh, you know, kind of a, a, a C plus, B minus answer to your question. It's, you know, a passing grade, but it's not really what you want. For me, Derek Carr coming to the Saints was always about, what is the deal? If the deal is on a reasonable contract, and yes, I'm sorry, $35 million is what's, you know, is what the, the market bears for a top half of the NFL starting quarterback, which is what he is. Maybe just inside the top half, but in the top half, that's what, uh, that, that's what his value is. That's what Kirk Cousins' value is. That's what Dak Prescott's value is. Both of those guys have similar numbers over the last three years to Derek Carr. We went through all that last week. I don't, uh, I, I don't know that the Saints are in a position where they're willing to go all in on Derek Carr. They shouldn't. Okay, I'm all for Derek Carr coming in here on a you know a four year deal that is you know inside a market value, but I'm not going to overpay for Derek Carr. I'd rather. I'd rather move on down and see what my other options are than to lock myself into a bad contract. And not just a bad contract, but they got to move heaven and earth just to get enough salary cap space to sign him to a market value deal. So as tight as that would make your finances, I'm not willing to go over that number. I thought that if uh, the, the Saints made him an offer that he was comfortable with, he would go ahead and let them – you know, deal a draft choice, never put it up to the open market. He obviously didn't get that deal. So if he didn't get it when the Saints were bidding against nobody, hard to imagine that uh, they're going to get it when they're bidding against everybody. Not that we know who everybody is, but we're going to find out pretty quick because the Raiders have got to cut him by Wednesday.